In the first video about the tribulation project, I explain in great detail how the Lord revealed to me a sign of what is about to come. I really would encourage you to go back to that video first if you haven't watched it, because I explain how I found out I was receiving visions in my prayers from the Lord. It really did happen that the first major sign was the image of a young man that I saw vividly in my prayer. And then a few hours later, it was revealed to me as the actor in the movie, The End of the Harvest. Through that, and again in that video, I explain with great detail what happened. I was able to understand that the Lord was giving me confirmation about the overall timeline I had been working on leading me to the conclusion that the Lord Jesus is telling us, all of us, obviously not just to me, that he is returning in 2,000 years from his departure. This was a great confirmation and obviously a very emotional and intense moment for me to realize that the Lord was giving me such a strong sign of his presence of his communication with me, and of course, for it to be shared with those who are meant to receive this notice. So with great intensity and even more focus, I continue to work on the timeline. And over the course of a couple of weeks, or some days rather, I started to see, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, more scriptures relating to the end times timeline. I finally arrived to what I thought was a general overview and a solid idea of what the end times will be like. Now, I will be sharing this timeline with you, so please hold on, because I am about to share with you the second confirmation I received from the Lord, and this was even more shocking. So as I completed the first pass of the timeline, Again, about a week later, I received a second confirmation. This was again in my prayers. And I was shown the image of a young boy. It was a young, lively boy whose outfit, however, reminded me of a German or Austrian, European type of mid-century clothing. He had a different type of outfit, not a contemporary outfit. The boy was very alive. He had uh, brown hair and very lively eyes. So as I explained in my previous video, I went downstairs and this time as well, I decided to do a sketch of the vision I was shown. Not to know exactly what this boy would be on or how it would be revealed to me, I decided to call my wife and to ask her to watch me as I did the sketch and describe to her this boy and the details. And this is what I came up with. So I wanted to make sure to have a witness while I was doing the first sketch. So I put the sketch away and somewhat forgot about it. Three days later, it was nighttime again and again I was watching movies on YouTube and I turn on after choosing through several options a movie called Megiddo. I had not known about this movie before nor I knew exactly what it was all about except it did say that it could be a movie about Armageddon or the Tribulation. So that was somewhat clear. A few minutes into the movie, the young boy shows up. I call my wife immediately. I haven't even watched the movie at this point. I just wanted her to be a witness with me of what we were about to witness. The story is about the rise of the Antichrist. And to my shock and surprise, the little boy is the Antichrist. And the movie talks about is growing up and being trained to become a military, military leader 
and eventually turning into the Antichrist. Again, without telling you the details of the movie, which I recommend to go and watch, it all ends up with what we know about the tribulation, the Antichrist becoming the one world leader, and the final ending of the movie is the second coming of the Lord into the clouds and the destruction of the Antichrist, which transforms back into Satan and is cast down into the pit. This time I knew for sure it was from the Lord and it was for sure a second confirmation. However, it took me some time to figure out what the Lord was actually telling me because there were no dates and certainly had not a direct relationship with the calendar I was working on. A few days later, I understood what the Lord was saying. And the Lord was saying that with the first confirmation, he was confirming that he was coming back 2,000 years from his departure. And in the calendar I'll be explaining is that I believe that year is 2029. Again, the Lord did not say a date, did not confirm an exact date, but I'll explain to you why I'm led to believe that his return is the year 2029. Now, the second confirmation made me believe and understand that his return is at the end of the tribulation, just like the movie shows. And while this might be common knowledge amongst biblical Christianity, it wasn't necessarily an obvious conclusion. So what I want you to understand is the fact that the Lord showed me the two pieces of the puzzle. The first is when he is returning generally speaking, which is after 2,000 years. So let's say 2029 for now. Again, I'll explain in detail the calendar later, so keep following. The second confirmation is that prior to his return, the tribulation is going to occur. So now, what it was left to be figured out or studied with the help of the Holy Spirit was how long and when this tribulation is going to occur. And this would give us the start date when to start looking for the signs and eventually the return of the Lord. So in my next video, I will walk you through the calendar I put together. Now you do know from scripture, the tribulation is thought out to be seven years. I'm not disagreeing with that. I do have some additional studies that I will show you. So if you hadn't watched my first video on the rapture, that happened all before these confirmations. Well, you do know that I explained there the year 29 as the possible return of the Lord and seven years prior to that, which would be 2022, as the possible time of the rapture or the possible time of the start of the tribulation. Well, this is actually what I am suggesting. In the next video, however, I will show you how scripture and the reading of Scripture with the help of the Holy Spirit led me to see hidden inside Scripture confirmations that these dates are very accurate, if not completely accurate. The bottom line of this is we have no more time. I have been posting on my social media, especially on Instagram and now on TikTok as well, the calendar and this warning. The Lord did not give me this interpretation or this sign just for my own amusement and to have some good idea of what's happening. It obviously put me in a position to share this with you. Now I'm a human being and I might be wrong. I'm not claiming to know the exact time, but the Lord is saying you have to share with the world that I am coming back. And it's absolutely possible that the return could be this year. I am warning you and begging you to please consider, if you stumble upon this video, there is a reason. The Lord is calling you. He's calling you to repentance and He's calling you to giving your life to Him as your Lord and Savior. And that means changing your ways, leaving sin, and starting to pursue the Lord day and night with prayer, fasting, and following His will. I hope you can hear this message and I hope you can continue to follow. I'm doing my absolute best to put this out as fast as possible so that you can see the timeline I was led to see through these confirmations and the study that I did on scripture. Please be blessed. Please remember what I just said. Repent. 
turn your ways, give your life to Christ. There is no other way to salvation. And the times are about to come about where great tribulation will start. Be blessed. Peace.